So this past year, a number of individuals have had events that have not been really great to their reputation, right? We had Andrew Cuomo with his sexual harassment saga. We had Alec Baldwin with his uh, accidental uh, shooting. And we had uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock had gotten into an altercation during the Oscar Awards. I was just thinking there was a time when um, all of these uh, important figures uh, gave me much better feelings than all the stuff that they were involved in. Let's start with Andrew Cuomo. I distinctly remember in March and April of 2020 watching Andrew Cuomo talk about how important it, uh, it was for us to flatten the curve and how many lives we would save if we wear a mask social distance. It just gave me a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. He made all those unpleasant things seem like they were patriotic things to do, right? We felt patriotic about washing our hands. And to be honest, before before COVID, I very rarely washed my hands. I, 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 uh, I don't really think germs are all that bad for us, right? I would wash my hands if I came into contact with uh, chemicals, right? So if I were changing the car, uh, oil in the car or got oil on my hands or um, got battery acid on my hands or uh, touched um, something that was uh, potentially toxic, right? Uh, yeah, I would wash my hands uh, for that. Um, but I, I rarely wash my hands after going to the bathroom, preparing raw meat. Uh, and it, it, those things never seem to bother me. And uh, Andrew Cuomo made it seem like it was no big deal to wash your hands, and so I started doing that. And in fact, now I hate getting my hands dirty. I hardly ever eat anything with my hands anymore ever since the pandemic. I got other reasons for not loving to use my hands when I eat, but the pandemic has kind of reshaped all that. Now, Alec Baldwin, um, I was watching, the first time I ever heard of Alec, Alec Baldwin was back in 2000. He was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. He play, who was playing for a charity, and he won $250,000. And so uh, I distinctly remember his $250,000 question. It was about where Cleopatra's remains were found. And I knew it because the summer before that, I had been watching a documentary about the finding of Cleopatra's uh, palace. It was found in the late 1990s. And so I knew it was in Alexandria. Uh, okay, so that's Alec Baldwin. Uh, Will Smith, I mostly remember him for his song about Miami. Uh, I, When I was a kid, uh, I was 14 years old when 9-11 happened. And I didn't want to travel. Uh, I had a big fear of flying after that. So a lot of these... Uh, far away places. I lived in Pennsylvania. A lot of these far away places I only knew through culture. You got to remember this was before the days of YouTube and so all I knew about it was when somebody would sing about a place like Miami, right? And so that, uh, that was my first impression of Will Smith and uh, he sang about, I think in the song he, he sang about uh, all the dramas in Miami and how it was his second home. And and then all 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 these all three of these people are now in some serious hot water over some events that happened this past year, and it really highlights the fact that fortunes can change on a dime, especially in the negative direction, right? And so earlier this week, when I got some good news at my workplace, when I when I feel like I'm on top of the world over some kind of relationship matter. Uh, I got to remember how quickly the fortunes of Andrew Cuomo, of Alec Baldwin, of uh, Will Smith, how quickly they changed over something that, that none of them had anticipated or, or tried to prepare themselves for. Right? I don't believe Andrew Cuomo was 100% at fault. I think there's a lot more to it than that than meets the eye. Uh, certainly, Will Smith never expected to have a, uh, such an insult hurled at him on national television, right? And uh, certainly Alec Baldwin never dreamed he would kill somebody, right? Anyway, anyway, uh, so, so ever since those three people, now every time I feel like I'm on top of the world, I gotta be extra careful now, right? 